good morning guys uh, this is I think it's August the end of August on one of the weekend the end of August um, it's been a while I don't do a video tour uh, it's been a busy month so but this morning I'm gonna try to take a tour because we are going to install fence on that side of property between uh, us and the neighbor um, on this side of property, it's already fenced on the left side. Um, I'm standing behind our back porch. Uh, this is our small backyard that looks like jungle now. But anyway, I want to do a small tour. To the right of us is actually house plants that are not doing well in the house, but it's doing really well in um, outside. So like this pilea. It was tiny, tiny one, it's struggling. And look, I have something coming out soon. But anyway, and uh, some cuttings that I'm trying to uh, grow over there. It's a very messy backyard as I was working on it yesterday and it didn't, I'm not finishing it just yet. And this, here's our tomatoes, uh, Everglades tomatoes that already start fruiting. It's pretty amazing, we had that the past, few months and this one is chocolate cherry tomatoes pretty amazing uh, fig that <clears throat> has not given us any sort of valuable fruit yet I just don't think I can uh, take care of it the way I should this one is lemon this area is mostly citrus this one is a green apple uh, then this is a navel orange, a red navel actually, not navel orange, a uh, red navel or karakara. On this side we have, this is satsuma that is not fruiting this year and I don't know why. It's a dwarf uh, variety. On that side of it there is a whole bunch of vegetables. Papai, eh, no. That is a banana, sugarcane next to it. And this is <clears throat> mandarin, satsuma, citrus, uh, pamelo. They are in planters, they're in planters. As you can see, all of them are in planters. And then uh, there's some cane sugar. Uh, here is a perhaps avocado that grown on 25 gallon uh, potting actually a bag grow back then this area is where we have fence and we're gonna put Kate sorry at the end of that fence grapes on one side on this side it's mostly the pandan, pineapple cosmos uh, barbados cherry and then papaya and there is a Suriname cherry on that side uh, we're still trying to I'm gonna have, we have some yoga too gingers and blueberries and raspberry this raspberry is amazing it gives us a lot of fruits this past season and we just re, I just restick them yesterday hopefully it, it's done it looks like this one is already a little tilted have some I'm excited for that additional growing plant growing uh, growing area on that side so this is the side where <clears throat> excuse me there's a helicopter somewhere or something not a helicopter some plane <clears throat> excuse me as you can see I, saw, I use a lot of trailing I think they're pretty awesome this area is, this island is just mangoes. I have a pie over there. And uh, Rio de Grande cherry and mangoes. The mangoes are Mahachanuk from the left. The second one is seedlings, cockshell that I grew from seedling. And then uh, pickering um, that I it's grafted. I bought it last, this year actually. Then Rio de Grande cherry. This is Rio de Grande cherry. I don't know, I don't really, uh, I have not grown into liking the fruit yet. We have a few fruits. This past season, it's actually blooming. 
look at that. If I can bring it closer. Ooh. I don't think I can. My fingers cannot manage, apparently. Well, what is it? Whoops, sorry. There's some blooms over there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But anyway, there is a Kiosafoy uh, on that side of that. I don't want to push the wrong button. This side is a guava cherry that is actually fruiting. This one is Glen uh, guava. This island is amazing island. I call it amazing island. And then this is the tall one. This one is Red Supreme that is also currently uh, finishing up the season. It, we just got a lot of fruits out of it. That one still have a couple of them new season. It's a Seminole pumpkin I just planted. This one is... So there is a star fruit, big star fruit tree over there that does not, it blooms a lot, but it does not fruit at all whatsoever. However, this one is, I air layered them. I air layered this from the mother tree over there. But look, it has at least five fruits. It gave us two fruits last season. So this aisle is a happy aisle. Because I have all my favorite fruits in here. This is vegetable long bean, yard, long yard bean. This is uh, jujube. I put this in 2021 and it grows like crazy with the fish emulsion that I give. It gave us quite a few fruit this season, this past season. I still have two of them last year, which I need to harvest them soon. And then this is. Uh, Mulberry is supposedly Pakistani, but it has not fruit yet, so I don't know. Bought it from Etsy. That one is red. It grows so fast, the, the leaves are super large. So you can see, the leaves are so large. Compared to my hand, it's large. That one is wax apple. I love wax apple. This one is a Florida Prince peach. I wanted to make it so happy, but I'm struggling to make it happy, and I don't know what I, what I'm doing wrong. You guys know? Let me know. Um, this is a jackfruit that grew from seedlings a year ago or two, I think. And there is a. This is also seedlings uh, grown avocado. And jujube, struggling. Two years I have it. It's still struggling. I don't know what to do with it, honestly. So in here, the, we were filming from that side. This one is the strawberry guava that I was talking about. Look, yeah, it's still full thing. Harvested quite a few of them, we make syrup out of it too. It's really good, <clears throat> excuse me. That's my neighbor's house. So we're gonna put fence around in between. And this is, Jackfruit. One of the jackfruit is pink. This one is mango. I think it's a rootstock mango because it was originally gland, but it's dead. The winter got it pretty good. So this side of it that we're gonna put fencing. I'm super excited because that would means I have more planting area. This one is asparagus, mostly, <clears throat> excuse me, turmeric, and some ginger. Small ginger. Last year I grew a lot of ginger. Now I really think I should have. Done that. Cosmos. I love cosmos. Ooh, it's pretty flower over there. Turmeric. That's white turmeric. And uh, yucas. And look at this beauty. Oh my god, I cannot wait to taste it. This would be our first harvest if. And that one. So this area is going to be planting area. Just no planting area that I have. It's going to be amazing. Anyway, so that's that's what we got so far, sweetheart. That's it. Thank you for walking with me and having a tour with me and have amazing, amazing uh, growing.